قالوا he said لم نكن من المصلين we weren't from the people who prayed Surah Al-Muzzammil what was the emphasis prayer Surah Al-Mudathir what are we finding we didn't pray لم نكن من المصلين we weren't from those at all this is naku is by the way nakun yakunu nahnu nakunu what's the lightest version of nakunu nakun but even that noon can be removed which is an essential noon can be removed to lighten the verb even more we weren't at all from people who prayed i wasn't the prayer type and this is the common english translation of this will be we weren't the salat type you know there's salat types and there's non salat types and they'll tell you no 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 that's not my thing do your thing do your thing that's not my thing i'm not into that sort of thing that's exactly what they'll say in judgment day yeah yeah that was my thing لم نكن من المصلين ولم نكن نطعم المسكين and we weren't to feed the feed the you know the poor the helpless type we weren't at all from that bunch of people wa kunna nakhudu however we were we used to nakhudu hang out aimlessly nashra'u fil batil la nubali bihi false activity we were immersed in it all the time we were spending time just chit chatting and talking aimlessly this is khawd khawd actually literally means to enter but to enter into a conversation that has no point so we used to just talk and chit chat and shoot the breeze aimlessly um, with people who like to hang out ma'al khaidin with people who hang out so you know there are people whose lives that's all they all it amounts to is they go to work and they will live for the weekend and what do they do on the weekend they just hang out with people that just like hanging out they'll sit hours and hours at a bar uh, hours and hours they'll spend in movie theaters watch three movies at a time You know, they go to a you know a club or a party and just sit there for hours and hours and hours and hours or play video games for hours and hours and hours and now you can do you know al-khawd ma'a al-khaidin with headphones on with online games they're talking trash with others you know just kunna nakhudu ma'a al-khaid this was our life this is all we had this was life bigger and bigger screens thicker and thicker headphones you know that's all it was wa kunna nukadhibu bi yawm ad-din and by doing so we used to lie against we used to consider the day of judgment a lie to consider something a lie to call something a lie to deem something a lie that's the kadhib too we thought it was all a lie come on who worried about judgment day hatta atana al-yaqeen until the absolute conviction came up to us and hit us what's the absolute conviction death itself You can have iman you cannot have iman yaqeen in the Quran is used for absolute conviction meaning believing you know seeing is believing that's the word yaqeen when you believe something like you can see it that's yaqeen and that's why it's used for death because you you could believe or not believe in the afterlife there's no way you're not believing in death that's yaqeen that's all around you fama tanfa'uhu min shafa'atu shafi'in then the intercession and the pleading of those who make pleading pleading arguments are not going to benefit them at all anybody who can do shafa'a won't be able to help them it won't matter if you say i'm from the family of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam you know people say they're from the family of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and that makes them special abu lahab was from the family of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it won't work that's my nephew though it's my nephew abu talib i loved him i supported him can can he at least make a case for me mm fama tanfa'uhum shafa'atu shafi'in fama lahum then what is wrong with them ma lahum what is wrong with them an at-tadhkirati mu'ridin from the ultimate reminder they choose to deliberately ignore it they just deliberately overlook it ka annahum humurun mustanfira it's like they're donkeys that are running off you know shadidatun nafar wahshiya shadidatun nafar you know you ever see pbs documentaries the lions approaching a pack of like zebras and he's like like leaning down shadidatun nafur yeah nafar it says in the book but anyway nafur i'll take you I'll, you're, you're a better dictionary so so he's leading down and then the zebras are chilling one zebra sees him one zebra and he dashes and the others don't have to see him when they see one run all of them are like get out of here and they're all just like running as fast as they can allah says this is how they treat revelation one of them hears the prophet's coming Oh, he's coming! Oh, God, it's going to start again. He makes a run. Everybody pff, runs. كَأَنَّهُمْ حُمُرٌ مُسْتَنْفِرَةٌ Like they're running away from مُسْتَنْفِرَةٌ from or running away in this wild way. فَرَّتْ 
min qaswara these animals these humur these donkeys that run away from the lion from a lion so who's being called the lion the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam you remember the story the qaswara story you remember the qaswara story so awesome one of my favorite stories from the, of of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam This non-believer came to the Prophet ﷺ and said, "Your Quran has mistakes." Remember this right now? I'll remind you anyway. It's okay. Quran has mistakes. What are the mistakes? Because Quran doesn't say "ajib." It says "ujab." It says "ujab." Ujab is not a word. "Ajib" is a word. It doesn't say "asad." It says "qaswara." Asad is not a qaswara is not a word. Asad is the right word. It doesn't say "kabir." It says, "Wa makaru makran, kubar." It says, "Kubar." Kubar is not a word. Kabir is a word. Quran makes up words. Ujab, qaswara. And so the Prophet calls Hassan ibn Thabit. I believe it was. So Hassan wasn't there. So he called him. He came and sat down. The Prophet said, "Get up and leave." He just got there. He says, "Get up and leave." So he got up and he's leaving. As he's leaving, he's no longer come back. Sit down. Okay, see. So So that's weird. I'll come. Yeah, Rasulullah. I'll sit down. I'm not going to say na wa ta'na, right? So I came back, sat down. He said, "No, no, no. Actually, I think you should get up and leave." <laughs> so he got up and left, and came and got up and left, and came and got up and, and he did this four or five times until Hassan ibn Thabit said, "Ya qaswarat al Arab, anta kubaruna. Hada shay wal ujab." Lion of the Arabs, you're our big one. You're our chief. And Takubaruna, this is really strange. How does he know? The guy who asked the question said, "Okay, I'm on Tuvilla." So, how the Allah says, "Farad bil Qaswara," running away from the lion, from a lion. But you need to kull umri im min hum. Rather, the case is that every one of them wants, every one of these people wants, and you ta suhufa munashara that they should be given scrolls that are spread out all around them. This means one: why doesn't revelation come to us? And if revelation comes to us, it, should, it better come in scrolls, papers that we can spread out and take a look for ourselves. The other thing here is all their deeds are written, right? All their deeds are being documented. They say, "Okay, well, that must be a long list of scrolls. Let's see them. Let's spread them all out and see, do our audit ourselves." So Allah says they want to, they want to see these papers laid out for themselves. Kalla bala ya khafun al akhirah. No, no, no. This is all nonsense. The fact of the matter is they are not afraid of the akhirah at all. Kalla inna hu tadkira. No, no, no. This is just a reminder, a very powerful reminder. From an shaa the karahu. Then whoever wants, he'll make, he'll make the effort. He'll remember it. He'll mention it. Wa ma yathkuruna illa an yasha Allah. And who, who are the people that are going to? And what are they going to remember except what Allah wants? What are they going to make mention of? What is their What is in their power anyway? They're powerless. Who are ahlul taqwa? Very powerful phrase in Quran. Rare instance. Who are ahlul taqwa? Yani ahlun an yattaqihi ibaduhu. An yattaqiyahu ibaduhu. Ibaduhu. He's the one that people deserve that taqwa should be done of him. He's the one that ahlul taqwa deserving of taqwa. He deserves that people should be cautious of him, aware of him. Protect themselves from disappointing him. Wa ahlul maghfira, and he's the one that deserves that forgiveness should be asked of him. He deserves that forgiveness should be asked of him. And ahlul maghfira also means the owner of maghfira. Where else are you going to get maghfira from? It's his property. He's the owner of it. Wa ahlul maghfira. Ahl is also used for someone who has something, has a quality, or is deserves something, in addition to family or people. Right? Ahl also means someone who deserves something or has a quality. So.